In their own words, it is hard to comprehend a young mother with two little boys, happily married, renovating a home, but also battling a rare and aggressive form of ovarian cancer. Emily Wiles's five kilogram tumour was discovered while she was pregnant. Doctors managed to save the baby, but now the fight is on to save her. Emily started chemo on Christmas Eve and is now halfway through her six rounds of treatment. It's tough. She's tougher. She's a superhero. She, um, I don't know how she does it because uh, <laughs> I'm not the one with cancer and I'm struggling. So, um, yeah, she, she's really strong and she'll continue to be strong. In between it all, Emily and Luke have been renovating their dream family home, a place for the four of them. We'll get on top of this and we'll have a long life with our boys and get to see them to do all the things that we you know, look forward to, like their graduations and weddings and all those sorts of things. A place where hope will live too. This news shifted our focus entirely. The renovation had to come second. It was a very stressful and challenging time. There's no good time for a family to receive a cancer diagnosis, but not being in our own home made things all that more difficult. On top of that, I had my own health issues with alopecia, losing my hair the last 12 months as well. So it's been a wild ride for our family. Thanks to the help of our builders, our projects continue to move forward. Hey guys, just out here at our raise and build project. Just going to touch base with a couple of the tradies. This week is a really exciting week for us because the stairs are going in. So that means we'll be able to get access to the upstairs area. The guys will be able to start the demolition. That means we can plan our kitchen and the flooring and we're getting very close to the internal fit out. So Mayos, who are our tradies, they're doing the bulk of our build here. Uh, they're getting stuck in and we're up to cornicing. So trims, cornicing, door trims, things like that. They're also going to be working on this, the decking. So putting in the footings for the decking, the beams. Uh, they're going to do the demolition upstairs. Our stairs guys are coming in. They're going to cover those with some nice uh, plywood covers so that we can protect the black butt stairs that we're putting in. Um, and then we can move on to the kitchen, which is really exciting because we've got a great company lined up at a good price to do the kitchen. So... Then we're on to flooring and then we're on to final touches and moving in. So we're hoping to do that ASAP. So the update is I need to have a chat with the engineer about the stairs and the back deck because they need to do some bolts on the steel. So they need to do bolts every 300 mil, which means we're going to have to check with the engineer whether they're actually allowed to do that and drill through the steel. Also chasing, chasing up uh, the concrete to fix up the pool because we've had a few issues there and we'll be well on our way. Let's keep going. Now it's probably a great time to give you a refresher on our dream home floor plan. We have three bedrooms and two bathrooms downstairs. We actually sacrificed having a walk-in robe so we could fit that extra bedroom downstairs and make this a five bed, three bath, two car home. As well in that downstairs area, we have a kids or a teenage retreat under the stairs, which we use as study space or a hangout space for the kids as they grow up. And that leads out onto a back deck and a large swimming pool, a soccer pitch and a back garden shed as well, which we've added later in our development application. Upstairs, we have a feature screen wall, which is black butt timber, which opens up onto kitchen, living and dining all together. We've gone for a bench seating setup upstairs, as well as a flyover roof with bifold doors for our outdoor deck. We've kept the original parts of the home, so we've kept the front facade and character of our Queenslander, and we've kept those front original bedrooms and used those as additional study and bedroom spaces. It was full steam ahead on site with the sheeting and framing now complete. We've also made significant progress upstairs. We've removed the bulk of the asbestos and now we're getting ready to start sheeting and completing these areas. Which means we're diving into the fun part for me, choosing all the finishes, colors, the paint, it's so fun. It's time to get the job done. Now we have a classic color scheme we like to use internally and that is white on white ceilings and white on white walls. And we've also picked our cabinetry and tiles to go throughout our home. I feel like we've made some bold decisions in our colors and our choices for cabinetry, even for tiles. So we're a bit nervous to see what it looks like all together, but we're trusting our vision. So we are in the new space. They've opened it right up. So we've got the bifolds here. That'll open all the way up, which is really exciting. So I have a nice big space on the deck. The deck's bigger than I expected looking at it now. Mm. 
So yeah, this space has really opened up. You can also now get a feel of what the living room will be like. Because if there's an island that's here, this is where your couch will be. You'll have your couch here, and you'll have a TV wall right in the middle. And the TV wall won't be right here. It'll actually be set back right on where the feature wall is. Now this is a feature here. So this wraps all the way around the door frame, all the way around the corner. And we really love this timber dowel. More costs, but a few features in the home really make it its own, and that's what we love about it. So speaking of features, we love the stairs. So this is real black butt timber, thick treads. They're all protected at the moment, but the black butt's going to match our black butt timber floors. Um, and the stairs ended up fitting really well. We only had just enough space to make it work at the top and at the bottom to get this full set of stairs in um, with a few changes that were happening on the ground here in, in real time. The screen, once that goes in, that's going to be floor to ceiling between the two levels. So I can't wait to see that come to life. This is just all of the IKEA kitchen. So there's so many boxes in here. Probably got about 200 to 300 boxes in here. We've also got our bed frame. We've also got tiles for the bathroom. Put some leftover insulation. So this room is just a storage room. Just in the meantime, until upstairs is finished, we're ready for the kitchen getting, to get installed in a week or two. Looking ahead, we have a big task on our hands. It's our kitchen. We're so excited to see the kitchen come to life. It's the heart of the home and for us it certainly will be true. It'll be the gathering place for our family and friends, for meals, celebrations and everything in between. Before we can get to installing the kitchen, we need to clear the space out. That means removing all the demolition material and clutter that we've got around this space and getting the job site cleaned. Next episode, we're going to tackle the kitchen prep and talk to you more about our kitchen design, what we're thinking, and get all into the detail. There's still so much work to be done, but we're getting close to the finish line. So stay tuned for more Growing Gables. Subscribe and see you in the next episode. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Growing Gables.